Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back. So I'm here at my usual trails here at Joaquin Miller Park in Oakland. It's Friday afternoon. If you guys didn't know, I upgraded the front fork to a Fox 36. Fit 4, not RC2 or Grip 2 damper. Uh, but still feels really good. A 150 mil fork. So I'm going from 140 to 150, which so far still feels pretty good. Pretty unique bike to have something with a, a piggyback rear shock, a Fox 36 DHF aggressor, and still be under 28 pounds. So it's pretty cool. And just a quick update on kind of life in general. My daughter turned two a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just always blown away with how fast she's growing up and just kind of reminds me to savor this time when appreciate every moment with her. So there's that and plus work has just been crazy. I recently got promoted to manager. Obviously along with that comes a lot more responsibility, a lot more stress unfortunately, but it is what it is. I'm just fortunate to be in that position. So yeah, those, those two things I think have kind of cut down on my writing a little bit and my time to edit. I've got quite a few things in the pipeline still. Ah, there is a mistake there coming out of that corner. Too slow. It's gonna cost me some time. Pedal down here. Feels good though. Ow. Oh, I made a lot of mistakes on this run. One of the reasons why I replaced the Fox 34 with this fork um, I was troubleshooting creaking noise from the headset area. I replaced the headset from a Kane Creek to a Chris King that I realized the sound was still there and I needed to look closer at the fork. And sure enough, as soon as I replaced the fork, the noise went away, which is a bummer. I think it's out of warranty. And I'm pretty sure the um, noise is coming from the uppers where the uh, crown race is pressed in. It just feels like it's coming from that area. If I hit a big bump, it makes kind of a, like a loose headset kind of noise. So we'll see, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Pretty, pretty bad right now. Stay on the bike though. These people are probably wondering why I'm talking to myself, but I'm used to it at this point. I don't really notice too much of a difference from going 140 to 150 in the front. Like I don't feel like the front end is really that much lighter. I do scoop my butt up on the seat just kind of subconsciously when I ride this bike. And my buddy Brian, who recently rode the SP50 or the SP130 and 150, 
kind of mentioned that he didn't have to do that on those bikes. I'm looking forward to demoing those at some point. I imagine it's quite a bit more than this. Even with the upgraded suspension that I did on this bike, just given its geometry, I don't expect it to be as light or as playful as this bike. I'll need to ride it and see for myself. So I also picked up these Adidas mountain bike glasses, which uh, are actually a little bit hard to find. I noticed that some of the UCI racers wear them and, and Adidas doesn't make it easy for you to purchase these. I ended up with like getting these on some site that I've never heard of, but they have this um, little sweat bar here. It's surprisingly effective and the lens is really good. It gives kind of a warmer tone as you can see. Works pretty well even in the dark and so far so good. All right, here we go. Whoa, Whoa it's really loose. I'm going to pedal here actually for the first time. Come in full heat there. Light tap on the brake here for this turn. Yeah. And then pedal out. Yeah, felt way better on this run. Whoa. Man, those braking bumps are brutal. Yeah, overall felt pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. And remember, those trails don't get easier, so get a better bike. No, get out there and get better. We'll see you on the next one.